One of the most famous and celebrated wine producing regions of the world for red wine is Bordeaux. Bordeaux is located in the southwest part of France. It is unofficially divided into two sections. They're called the left bank and the right bank. The rivers divide the region and on the left bank you have a lot more gravel soil. It's here where Cabernet really thrives and on the left bank you find Cabernet based blends from regions like saint Estef, Poyac, um, saint Julien, and Margaux. These are the famous regions that we know but really the hidden gem in Bordeaux is located on the right bank. In this area we have clay and sandy soils and regions like Pomerol and saint Emilion. You might have seen the movie Sideways when they were talking about Chateau Petrus and Chateau Cheval Blanc and how much they despised Merlot. That's kind of an inside joke because those two regions are planted to Merlot and this is some of the most expensive wine in the world. I really wanted to explore side by side what the difference is between saint Emilion and Pomerol. So I picked two great wines that really show showcase Merlot as a grape and that little bit of spice from Cabernet Franc. I think we should try the Pomerol and this is Fouget de Nanan which is the second label of Chateau Nanan, a producer in Pomerol. It's actually associated also with the Leve Lascas family in Saint Julien. So this Pomerol really shows what Pomerol is known for its power and its elegance. So somehow it has this intensity, but it really is as well, just like smooth and easy to drink with a concentrated flavor. So the, the typical um, ruby color with slight hints of garnet, this is a 2012, so you are seeing some of the age develop and that little bit of uh, orange or garnet on the, on the on the rim. This is a blend of Merlot, mostly 80% Merlot and a little bit of Cabernet Franc, like 20%. So the Merlot signature nose is really red plums, a little bit of black plums, some red cherries. And I always find in Merlot you get this cocoa, almost like milk chocolate. There's a rocky minerality, a warm earth, like red clay on the nose, a little bit of like potting soil or forest floor, cigar box, cedar, all those beautiful vanilla, vanilla bean smells. On the palate, this wine is as smooth as can be. This is really the defining characteristic of Pomerol. It's juicy and it's about medium, medium plus in body. It's got this really refined tannin and dusty quality. And kind of voluptuous and silky in nature, long lingering finish. You can tell you're drinking a really high quality wine and this is a great way to explore Pomerol and all of its beauty. Chateau Ponte Fumé is the wine that's located in saint Emilion, and this is a status on the label called Grand Cru. And in this case we have about 87% Merlot and 13% Cabernet Franc. The interesting thing about this wine that I love is that it's a little bit more rustic and a little bit more dusty and earthy than the Pomerol. So Saint Emilion I find can be similar to that of the left bank. Um, I often find Saint Emilion really reminds me of Saint Julien, which is to say even though it's a Merlot based blend, it kind of drinks like a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's got a lot of that blackberry and cassis flavors and in the color you still have the 2012 vintage so it is showing some age. That deep dark purple has kind of faded towards the rim and has become more of like a garnet color. On the nose, it's all about that blackberry and balsamic, cassis, a little bit more like darker rocky soils. So even though it's on the right bank, it's kind of like for the person that loves the left bank Bordeaux, but maybe wants a smoothness in the mouth because of the tannins being softer. So it is Merlot. You get a little bit of that spice like bell pepper from the Cabernet Franc. Comparatively to the Pomerol, it's just a little bit more dusty and a little bit more drying on the palate, but still it's got this like really ripe and fleshy mid palate, medium body with a little bit of a more medium plus tannin, really fresh acidity. This wine is drinking delicious and really shows the rusticity of Saint Emilion. Trying these two premium wines, these delicious red wines that are full bodied and juicy but also smooth really showcase Merlot as a grape but more importantly the right bank of Bordeaux. If you've ever wondered if Pomerol and Saint Emilion what the subtle differences are, 
Pomerol is super silky smooth, has power and elegance, and Saint Emilion, while it's powerful, has a little bit more rusticity. I hope you enjoyed these two wines and that you have a little bit more knowledge about Pomerol and Saint Emilion.